first step after the wire is coiled is to clip the individual links from it. These clipped links must be softened before they can be flattened. This is done by bringing them up to a yellow heat and allowing them to cool slowly. For the metal that we're using here, air cooling is just fine. Next, they need to be flattened. I use a simple hammer for this as opposed to a power or a hydraulic fly press. I'm just making sure the ends are closed so they don't slide off the wire as these have to be softened one more time. So all in all there are two softening procedures that have to be done to the links during the manufacturing process. The second softening allows the links to be pierced much easier. If you don't do this, the links will not turn out right and you can't manufacture them the correct way. Now, this is the lapping procedure. This has to be done by hand.
one slap, they're ready to be pierced. Again, the softening procedure is mandatory so that they can be lapped easier, and so the piercing bit will pierce the lapped ends much easier. It will make it last a lot longer, and also it allows the metal to be shaped by the setting tongs when the rivets are put in place and the ring is set. That's it.